Hello everyone. In this video, we are using a stretcher as a parachute. Yeah, CHE introduced Torlis and 3.13 in a very sad state. And now one year later, they are still in a very sad state. You can still die just pushing a trolley. And this actually happened to Flickr. We were not even trying to. Well, let's get started. Okay, I will look what Flickr does. Maybe Flickr does a better job than I do. <laughs> okay, I have this. I, I hope you not, you didn't die. Okay, I have a new. I, I don't have anything to heal. Are you down? Oh no. Sorry, I, I, I forgot to buy something to heal. And Shad wanted me to lay down on the stretcher that turned sideways. Does this work? Of course it works, because no physics. Of course you can. Yeah, <laughs> you can lay down sideways. Look, it's perfectly fine. Or maybe it's because there are no physics in this game. So you can you can choose one of two hello <laughs> warp space. So either those stretchers have their own microgravity or there are no physics in Star Citizen. Okay, let's stand up. Okay, when you stand up this thing moves reverse. Okay. <laughs> We are at Luria at an altitude of 20,000 meters and now Flicker can do one of the things she loves the most, kicking me out of the ship. As you might know, you can survive almost any fall if you are inside a vehicle, even if you are falling at 30,000 meters onto a 1G planet. Let's see how this stretcher works. And yes, no physics, there's not even any acceleration in free fall yet. I don't want, I don't need Kerbal, but I hope this will change, that we are getting at least some basic physics, which would be very immersive, Chris. Okay, Flicker will now kick me out of the ship. Okay, camera is running. Oh, it works. <laughs> Hey, I, I didn't know that you can move so much mess. I mean, this is one guy and one stretcher. Okay, I'm, I should be falling now. Let's see if I survive when I'm on a stretcher. Ob obviously, this will take a while. I think we were at 21,000 meters. I don't even know. Flicker, do I move away from you? I can't even see if I fall. Where's my ship? I was falling, but only at around two or three meters per second, which would take forever. Flicker suggested that she should try to catch me, and we are doing this again at a much lower altitude. I get caught into the gravity of this ship now. Looking good, Flicker. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm in the elevator. You can go lower, let's say 2,000 meters, and we can try again. Very well done, Flicker. Yeah, Flicker can fly. So we went down to 2,000 meters, which actually was only 1,300 meters above ground, because we still don't have any ground radar. Let's see how long it takes. Flicker will kick me again out of my ship. Oh, you're so mean, Flicker. You're so mean.
And any second now. Impact. Okay. This was very, very uneventful, but I'm, I'm, I clipped through the moon. Okay. My stretcher clipped through the moon. Let's see if I can stand up. Okay, you can survive uh, 20. Okay, now of course he has to stand up twice because it's always fun to do everything twice. Okay, you can survive a fall if you are on a stretcher. And of course I have to stand up a third time. And here we have the data. It was a 1,300 meter fall because ground level here is 700 meters. It took 321 seconds, which was 4.04 meters per second and a speed of 14.6 kilometers per hour. Very, very slow. Yeah, I said it a few times already. No physics to be found. I hope you had fun watching this. Flicker and I had a lot of fun doing this. And see you next time. Bye. Auf Wiedersehen. Hey, you are still here. You might want to join me on Twitter. My Twitter account is Kamoral underscore SC.